The town of Cambridge, often referred to as Cambridge, is a historic city located in eastern England. Known worldwide for its prestigious university and rich cultural heritage, today I'm exploring Cambridge to gain a deeper insight into its rich history. Cambridge is renowned for its stunning architectural featuring historic buildings dating back to various periods. Iconic landmarks include the King's College Chapel, the Mathematical Bridge, Trinity College and the Senate. As we explored the town of Cambridge, we had to park our cars and we had to stroll on foot because this was, would give us a better view of the actual town. Is this walking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the town looks a little bit older than um, other towns in England. That's what I can see. You might wonder, what is this? It is a corpus clock. The value of this clock is over one million pounds, and it's a famous um, landmark in Cambridge. It's actually situated um, outside the Taylor Library at Corpus Christi College one of the constituent colleges of the University of Cambridge. This clock was actually designed by John C. Taylor, and it was actually unveiled in 2008 by the physicist Stephen Hawking. As you can see, this town is really packed and it was a Sunday because Cambridge is really has a really great hi rich history and it has iconic architecture and it stands as a captivating destination for various tourists. Visitors are drawn to its historic colleges, picturesque river views and the renowned University of Cambridge. And I'm over here freezing. <laughs> well, this looks something like a market. Fresh fruits and veggies, vegan bars, you know, because we're vegan. Let me see what they have. You pick them and we mix them. Rice box, curry rice. So we're going to the market at the minute. They have like veggies over here. Fresh veggies, not mine. Vegetables? No. Sorry. And then they have crafty stuff over there. walking down there coming taking forever to come I'm not sure why As I stroll through the town of Cambridge, I encounter a lot of merchandise bearing the name of the university on them. So 
so on this day when i visited cambridge it was really cold and i was getting my lips were getting so dry so i had to apply lip balm a lot of the times uh, to prevent my lip from cracking so if you're going to cambridge on a day that is cold remember to bring some lip balm So as I was strolling through the town, I actually came upon these telephones. These are old telephones. I was trying to get my way into one of them, but couldn't <laughs> stand a chance. <laughs> Type food shop. Can I help you, my dear? Yeah, I'm just looking around for vegan. No, not that side, over that side. Okay. Vegan stuff is on this side, not that side. Yeah. I cash? like carrot cake. Robert, you take cards. Card or cash? If you go pay on card, you got to spend five pounds. Okay. On card, yeah. There you go. Thank you, my love. I left the store without purchasing anything, but we continue our journey through the town to get a better view of what the town is about. Lennox. Rayon, your type of shoes. Your type of shoes, Rayon. I don't know what it is but it looks quite interesting under that um i don't know what it's for it's like magical gifts some places in cambridge also evokes a sense of magic and wonder and reminiscence of the harry potter universe with its history buildings cobblestone streets and scholarly atmosphere if you've ever watched the movie harry potter and you go through cambridge you oh, get that oh is it a harry vibe, potter type harry potter um, situation in the i could hold, hold literally hold it in my hand and just walk around you get what i mean <laughs> it makes sense vlogging Places oh. like this, basically. Yeah, you do. You don't really mind. Yeah. Video I see why people. Ooh, this. What? What is the name of this car, baby? I don't know what it is. I don't know cars like that. It's a Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Oh, look at this Lamborghini. I should have taken a picture beside. It. Is it? Is it for, for taking pictures beside? It? No. But... Can I take a picture beside it? <laughs> Ooh, lamp. So as on our, on our stroll, we saw this Lamborghini and I'm not a car person and that's why I asked my husband. But yeah, we continue our tour. So with the various universities, you can pay to go over and see, um, have, a, have a tour. But on this day, it was a holiday. So there was not, they weren't allowing us to go in. So we stand up, stood outside and have a look at this university or college per se. So what you can see is that there are students just hustling about um, I'm not I don't think there were classes that day but yeah we continue Hunting along the river is another famous thing that is done in Cambridge. Tourists can hire a punt and glide along the tranquil river while taking in scenic views of the colleges and bridges. At first, when I saw this um, punting tour, um, I, I really wanted to go on it so badly. So we did take a punting tour, but what I recognize um an initial thought i thought that we were just gonna glide along the river but 
when we were on our punching tour we got so much knowledge like the pun the, the tour guide was giving us so much history of cambridge and the various colleges and universities and it made it so much interesting this was like the best part of my tour of cambridge i enjoyed the punting tour though it was a cold day i brought my some tea and some snack to glide along the river and take in all the scenes and the histories We're coming into a college called St. John's College. It's actually, uh, it's actually opened by the current King of England, mm. King Charles, who got in a lot of trouble for the opening. Uh, he was making fun of it. Uh, and all of the attendees overheard him call it a uh, multi story car park. <laughs> uh, it's covered up with these vines on the back half of the building. Uh, in summer they go bright green, in uh, autumn they go bright red, it's called the Blazing Red Ivy of St. John's. Hunting was a peasant job, we would bring up food, coal, supplies to the colleges and we dropped them off in the store. of this building. This is the front part of the building. Uh, it's also where Isaac Newton first measured the speed of sound. The bottom floor of the building is empty. Uh, we use the empty room to make echoes, to make the echoes back. We're missing. I wonder who might have done that. <laughs> Nobody knows what it looks like anymore. Mm, yeah. That painting's probably buried under an apple tree. I do know it's like, I think Oxford claims to have a descendant, London claims to have a descendant. Uh, there's a couple more around the country where they're all claiming the same thing. Yeah. Don't trust tour guides. <laughs> it's our fault, we make up these lies. We're 1926. Yeah, that's the one. Clare College, you said. Despite being a bustling city, Cambridge also boasts numerous green spaces and parks where visitors can actually relax and unwind. Parker's Peace, Jesus Green, and the University Botanic Garden are popular spots for picnics, leisurely strolls, and outdoor activities. It was a long day, so we didn't get a chance to see all of these things, but it has these various green landscapes that you can actually just sit and relax and have a little day out with your family. It's always considered best to live in the most modern accommodation, but you don't know that when you first come here. Lots of students come here with a sort of, I'm going to live a Hogwarts vibe. Mm. You know. <laughs> They always put the first years in older buildings, the oldest ones possible. And as you work your way up, you kind of realise you've been duped. Like, <laughs> you go, like third year, post-grad, you're in a modern building. So when you go to Cambridge, it can be a long day. So after a long day, we were really hungry and we went to Byron um, to have some vegan burgers. I chose the vegan chicken burger because it was something that I knew about and I'm a person that's really, really funny with food. So yeah, I opted for the vegan burger. Uh, it says white wine vinegar. Is it wine? 
This vegan burger had smashed avocado. It was a little bit messy, but all in all, I enjoyed it. But my favorite part was the fries. The fries was really, really good. I enjoyed the fries. Yeah. So guys, this was an amazing trip to Cambridge. Like there was so much history that I, you know, I've heard, I've only heard, for, I've been hearing it for the first time and like legit this has become one of my favorite <laughs> cities in, in in the uk thus far i'm yet to see more i want to explore more i want to just you know be more immersed into um the uk culture and understand it more but yeah thank you guys so much for the journey and don't forget to like share and subscribe and join the family